Kimi K2 has launched its new thinking model that is challenging the top tier US models. This is a company from China and a lot of people are fans of Kimi K2. And the best part about this particular model is that this model is capable of running, executing 200 to 300 sequential tool calls. See, tool call is the fundamental basis of agentic system. Anytime somebody says I'm building an agent, that means they're basically doing tool call and the more number of tool calls you can make, the better the agentic execution is going to be, especially in a multi-agent system. And this model is capable of doing 200 to 300 sequential tool calls, which is kind of a big deal to be honest. In terms of benchmarks, this model is better than Anthropic on a lot of different tasks. For example, you can see here, this is Claude Sonnet 4.5 thinking model task, which is created by Scale AI, humanity's last exam. This model has scored 44%, while even Anthropic has scored 32%. So you can see a browse comp, which is an agentic search, a Claude Sonnet 4.5 thinking has scored 24% and this model has scored 60%. So across all the benchmarks, you can see that this model has been quite strong. I still believe where Claude Sonnet 4.5 is extremely strong. Like this is my personal opinion is coding. So if you see the coding benchmarks, I mean, irrespective of benchmarks also, you can easily see that. But even if you see the benchmark here, Sonnet 4.5 has scored 77% on sweep bench which is a benchmark that is required for these LLMs to solve GitHub issues. And uh, SWE Bench Multilingual, you can see Sonnet 4.5 has scored 68%, while Kimi K2 Thinking has scored only 61%, which is still better than GPT-5. But you can see that uh, this model is not as good as Sonnet 4.5 in terms of coding, I would say, like, like just a personal opinion. But overall, I would say that this model is a real contained a real challenger for the top tier US models. And the best and most interesting part here is that this model is completely open source. I mean, uh, they, it's a slightly modified MIT license, but the model comes with like open weights. So you can download and deploy it on your own inference. But at least for the sake of research, I think this model is going to put a lot of research teams forward. I mean, unlike the closed models from, for example, Anthropic open AI models, I think this model is this company and this model is doing an extremely good job in terms of how they want to democratize AI, not get keeping it with themselves. So Kimi K2 also has got a native int for quantization model. It's got a 256,000 context window and it's got the QAT, which is a quantization aware training. Even Gemma models were released with this particular uh, quantization aware training. That means when you quantize the model, the model is not going to have a lot of degradation. And the final part is that the model does not degrade when you are making 200 to 300 consecutive tool calls. So previously, even with 30 to 50 tool calls, the models used to not do extremely well, but this model, uh, the company is claiming that even with that amount of tool calls, the model is going to do well. And uh, once again, um, I think we are kind of moving away from a singular dense architecture. This is a mixture of experts architecture. So in terms of key numbers for models, the most important number is that this model is a 1 trillion parameter model. I mean, the whole model is a 1 trillion parameter model, but only 32 billion parameters are active. That is exactly what the mixture of experts is doing here. I think that is very important aspect because the model has got 1 trillion base parameters. The model must have accumulated a lot of knowledge that might translate into the real world. And I think this is the kind of average size that we are talking about the GPT fives of the world or the Gemini 2.5 pros of the world. We don't have an exact information about how much these models weight, uh, like in terms of the parameter size. But yesterday there was a report how Apple is planning to use a trillion parameter model from Google, which I guess must be like Gemini 2.5 Pro. So it's very good thing to see that an open weight model that is challenging the top cream models. I saw a couple of instances where the model is extremely good, couple of instances where the model has failed. So let's look at the positives. So you can see that uh, this Twitter user, Christian, has used Kimi K2 tool calling, the latest one, the thinking model to make math and physics explanation animations. And uh, that is possible because of tool calling. And this is the result. I think honestly, like it's a good result. I mean, if people can make something like this I, with, let's say a couple of prompts, it's going to help in education explosion, like uh, like the animations that three blue and brown used to make. So it's, it's, it's a good thing. And the model has managed to do this. It's a great thing. So another example uh, where the model has managed to compete with Claude code. Uh, so you can use this model with Claude code uh, through Claude code proxy. So the models can this model Kimi K2 thinking because it has got a good tool calling capability, it can do sub agents, and it can do to do list and all those things. And the model is also extremely cheap when you compare it with Anthropic Sonnet 4.5 or any other Anthropic model. So the model has got a win particularly here. But on the other side of the things rising, this is like a tricky prompt, which is by Donna Singh, who's quite popular in the LLM testing world, especially with the Minecraft benchmarks. 
So Kimi Kato, the question here is a father and a son are in a car accident. The father takes the boy to the hospital. At the hospital, the father who is a surgeon, this is the most important thing, looks at the boy and says, I can't operate on this boy. He's my son. Who's the surgeon to the boy? See, this is the classic thing that people usually ask for gender bias and all those stuff. And generally the right answer is mother because we don't in uh, we don't give the information here that the surgeon is the father okay so it's a trick question you ask people and expect them to say that uh, you know uh, the the surgeon is the mother is like the right answer but because we have given the information father is the surgeon here ideally we expect the llms to say father is a surgeon but the models have such a strong memory of the whole puzzle from its training data it's finding it so hard to ignore that and then come back and then tell us the father is the answer. And I don't know if you have seen the recent interview of Andri Karpati, Dwarkesh Patel. Even in the interview that you would see Andri Karpati mentioning multiple times that memory is a big, big problem for this large language models. The more they remember, the less they generalize with the current world or the real world and comprehend and do it. And you, this is like a very good classic example of how that is the case where the model could have just literally read this and then come up with a conclusion. But it has got such a strong foundation in its training data that the surgeon is the mother and somebody is trying to do the you know riddle here uh, about unconscious gender bias. So it's sticking to its mother. So yeah, it's, it's a great example where the model is failing. Another benchmark, which is repo bench. And uh, here, um, the repo bench creator, Eric, is saying that the model has done extremely bad. In fact, much, much worse than Kimi K2 itself. The early reviews of this model has been particularly, let's say, a mixed bag. I wanted to give you a couple of demos and then see how the model is doing. First of all, you can go to Kimi.com and then access the model. And uh, the way you can access the model is uh, if you go to Kimi.com and uh, you can see there are two models available, K2 and K1.5. You to select K2. And in the settings, we are going to select thinking. The moment you enable thinking, the model is going to go through internal chain of thought, internal reasoning, and then it is going to come back and then give you the answer. So first thing I want to do is I wanted to, I recently came across this platform. Somebody gave me this. It's called Shudel. Uh, so you can make, I think like MIDI like music here. So I'm going to go here and then say, give me, uh, give me a nice um, melody um, that um, let's say resembles some kids rhymes school rhymes maybe um for strudel ripple okay so i've enabled the thinking mode i'm sending this i'm expecting it to give me a code so that that when i run this i mean it's going to look or i can listen to it and then say it's like a nice melody and uh, all i'm expecting it to give me a fully functional code first of all that shouldn't error out and second of all, it shouldn't sound like a complete crap, you know, like if if I write something, I mean, it's going to be complete crap. So I don't want it to do that. And you can click here and then see the reasoning here. So you can see the user wants a nice melody and um, uh, this it's, it's discussing REPL and it's like uh, similar to tidal cycles and all those things. Okay, it's got most information correctly and uh, it says this is what it is going to do. Simple. Okay, let's start with simple one. I'm going to play it. it's very fast I don't know uh, how much I would call it a melody I think I'm on position myself it seems wow. I, I I made it better the CPM here is too bad let's let's go back and then see what we can make from the second code it has given okay uh, so you can pack everything and then do it not bad it's good okay it's doing something i'm not sure 100 percent if it is the right way to write strudel code anybody who's an expert with strudel can let me know in the comment section but i think it has it has given me a code that is not errored out which is which is always a good thing so the second thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just start a new chat i'm going to keep the thinking mode on and i'm also going to keep the search mode on so we're going to ask it to create something for us where we're going to say can you just give me a small uh, 15 point gist of the recent Andre Karpati and Dwarkesh Patil interview, particularly what they spoke about LLM memory. See, this is a particular topic. It doesn't have to go even um, take transcription from YouTube videos. All we are expecting is like a lot of people have written about it. And then I wanted to go collect the information 
have the ability to go through it and then give me like a 15 point gist. Ideally, I'm not going to wait here and then read all the 15 points, but you can see here uh, one one tool call that is happening is like search and um, could be like multiple tool calls. Then it uh, finished the thinking. You can see here it has got all the information and it says extreme compression and waste, two distinct memory system, in context learning is a real magic, uncompressed con. Sometimes I feel like it's a, uh, okay, looks like somebody has written a blog post and it is, uh, you know, spitting it out from that. If you ask me, dreaming is an anti-collapse. Okay, that's a very interesting thing. Force pattern recognition. Humans' poor memorization is actually a feature. It forces us to find generalizable patterns rather than memorizing details. This is what I was emphasizing a couple of minutes back. So overall, again, it has done the job of giving me text that um, that sounds um, slightly humanish. One um, interesting aspect that I've felt before with Kimi K2 is that it can write text that is not necessarily sounds like EA written text and then I've used a couple of detectors and then it has done a decent enough job. So we're going to see if Kimi K2 thinking can give us some content that doesn't sound like AI written. Give me a blog post on Elon Musk and his tax breaks. Make sure you don't sound like AI when the blog post is written. Okay, so let's see if it can do it. Again, it's going to take some time because it has go read all the information, come back and then write the blog post for us. I'm pretty sure this is going to be, it is going to sound 100% AI. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't think it is going to be undetected as non-AI. Oh, wow. That's very surprising, isn't it? Either this detector is qu quite terrible. I've used it multiple times before. It has given me slightly decent result. But this time it says it's 100% human written. That's very interesting. Let's, okay, I'm going to use one of these top Google result thinking that Google can still do a good job. I'm going to paste the text, direct text. Yeah, if 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 this also, okay, it says 14% and it says it's human written. See, we have successfully uh, figured out a use case for Kimi K2 thinking because this is something that I've found with Kimi K2 as well. And yeah, with Kimi K2 thinking as well, probably if you have got university assignments, this is probably the best model to use. Uh, we are going to use the model again with the API to actually figure out how it is going to do coding. But for now, I think this is a great release. It may not be like the best model as much as, you know, it's been hyped up. But I, I'm absolutely happy that the model exists. Uh, thankful to the team that the model has been open source. And I would love to see what more people can build on top of it. But the most, most important thing is it br bridges the gap between open models and closed models, which is a great thing always. See you in another video. Happy prompting.